The Cooper Busman Power Module Switch is the all-in-one elevator disconnect solution that provides the control power transformer in all units for shunt trip operation. This transformer is supplied with multiple tap points for use with supply voltages from 208 volts to 480 volts. The shunt trip mechanism operates off of 120 volts AC and all Cooper Busman power modules provide this feature as standard. In our example part number, the T20 code designation means this unit is built to operate on 208 volts AC power. However, what if at the job site it was discovered that we really needed a unit for 480 volt AC supply power? The unit should have been ordered with a T48 code. We need to move the tap points on the transformer to allow 480 volts AC to be stepped down to 120 volts AC for use with the shunt trip mechanism. Changing voltage will affect the fuse rating needs for the motor. It is important to review NEC motor sizing charts to select the proper fuse. As we look at the tap selection, we can see there are four points marked from left to right, point H4, point 3, point 2, and point 1. For our 208 volt AC unit, the taps will be located from the factory on point H4 and point 3. This will provide a step down voltage to the 120 volt needed for the shunt trip operation. Since we need the control power transfer to handle 480 volts incoming power, we simply move one wire from point 3 over to point 1. The other connection will always remain on tap H4. This will provide a 4 to 1 reduction providing the 120 volt needed for shunt trip operation. Be certain the connections are tight for good electrical contact. The next step is to properly label the unit to identify the supply voltage. This will require the replacement of two labels. The inside label should be changed to replace the T20 with T48. The outside label should also be changed to reflect the new 480 incoming voltage. Please contact your Cooper Busman distributor where the unit was purchased to obtain these new labels. There is no charge for the labels. They can request these from the factory. The primary fuses on the CPT need to be changed out to the FNQR-1 for the 480 volt supply. The 208 volt will use the FNQR-2. The secondary fuses remain as FNM one and a quarter since the secondary transformer voltage remains 120. If you have any questions, please call the application engineers of Cooper Busman.